So the Bible says no one can serve both God and money. Think about that. No one can serve both God and money. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or love the one and hate the other, said Jesus. But no one can serve two masters. It doesn't just say you're serving money. It says money has become your master. Now, everybody knows by now that technology has had an incredible effect on mankind. And I'm not talking about a good effect. I mean, everybody across the board agrees from the scientists to the religious person to the preachers to just the guy on the street, the homeless guy living on the street. The more you look at the internet, the more it affects and changes the, your brain, the way you think. The internet has the same effect on you as gambling does on your brain. That's a fact of life. Well, the same thing with money, especially when you combine money and technology. You ever wonder why you just can't not buy something? You're at the store and you're like, I have to have this. Well, that comes from something is missing inside of you. Not physically, spiritually. And mentally, something inside of you is saying to yourself, I will not be happy unless I buy this item. It could be anything from a pizza to a car, a house, a new kitchen for your house. Do you ever wonder why you're sitting in, you're in the United States of America, so you're already one of the richest wealthiest people in the world. And you're sitting in a $350,000 house, which makes you one of the very richest people on the planet. If you don't go by American standards, you go by what God standards, worldwide standards. The Bible wasn't written for Americans. America didn't even exist back then. The Bible was written for all of mankind throughout all of history. And moving forward, the New Testament passed Jesus Christ. So you're sitting in a $350,000 house, which is not that expensive of a house today in America. In some countries, $350,000, you can buy the whole neighborhood. You can buy like 20 houses in some countries. That's an idea. You buy 20 houses, move to another country, and you rent out 19 houses every month, and you're instantly retired just off the interest that you would pay for your house in America. So you're in your house, you're in this beautiful house, and you think to yourself, I'm not going to be happy unless I remodel my bathroom for $40,000. And that's when your misery begins. Actually, anybody who's ever had to call a contractor up and start the process of remodeling, oh my, oh wow. In today's society, whatever they quote you is going to be double or triple. They can't get the supplies. That they don't know. The guys don't show up. They don't have workers. But that's not what I'm talking about. That's just the beginning of your misery.
Why are you not happy unless that bathroom or kitchen gets remodeled? Because you go back to the verse, no one can serve two masters. No one can serve both God and money. When you serve money, it has a large effect on you like technology. You're serving technology. You see, I'm not serving technology. Yes, you are. Between your phone, your video games, your TV, and I don't even know if anybody goes on the computer anymore. Everything's on your phone. You're spending several hours a day with this technology, but you're only spending about 10 minutes a day with God. Just look at the truth. If you spend 10 minutes a day at something, and over here you spend three, four, five hours a day at something, which one do you think you're serving? That's actually one of the reasons drugs are so bad. Because they take over your whole life. When you become a drug addict, or an alcoholic, it's a 24-7 adventure. It takes over everything, your whole day, your sleep. It devastates your um, wallet, your job, everything. Drugs do not demand one hour a day. If you're on drugs... It demands your whole life. It wants everything you have to give to it. The same thing is with money. See, let's concentrate a little bit on why you're not happy. Well, because it's what you're serving. You're, I've just proven 80% of Americans are not serving God in these last days. You're not serving God as your master. No, Jesus is very clear in the Bible. No one can serve two masters. He used the word master. You know, God could just put his finger on your life and poof, you're gone. But God loves you. God created you. God owns you. But if you reject him your whole life, you'll go to hell and you'll never see God. Well, you'll see him face to face when we all bow a knee. Every knee shall bow on that last day. You're not happy in this world because you do not serve God. You do not follow God. You do not read your Bible. You just think about reading your Bible. You never actually have read the entire Bible. And you do not spend time in prayer, at least in the morning and at night. You have children that you don't even pray for as a Christian. That's pretty sad. It's because you, your life is so out of control and so hectic because you're serving money as your false god, consumerism. The Bible is very clear. No one can serve both God and money. If you serve God, you're going to be happy. I'm here to encourage you. If you wake up and say, good morning, Lord. And you get on your knees, you go take a shower, get on your knees and pray. Lord, what is it that you would have me do today? And you talk to God throughout the day and at night you get on your knees and pray for everything you can think of for like 10 minutes. It's really not that long, but God wants to hear from you and then you will hear back from God and he will increase just like Moses, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. He will increase your life so as to glorify his name. 
God wants to bless you. God wants to be your master. But I'll tell you what, mostly in this society, mostly in this society, God wants to take away all your pain. He wants to take away the things you're serving. God doesn't want you to have a mortgage. I always laugh. Modern day Christians, you know, hallelujah, somewhere along the line, hallelujah, let's go to the bank and get a mortgage. Modern day Christians, somewhere along the line, have been convinced that you need a mortgage to a house. Well, I tell you what, if your parents were Christians, they should have passed their house already paid off down to you, and they probably did, and then you, as the modern-day Christian, took that money and spent it on a bigger house. Because we all know no one can possibly survive in this world without 3,000 square foot, 1,800 square foot, 2,500 square foot, in a big backyard, a big front yard, one or two car garage. I could not possibly survive and make it through the day. You see, that's because all your misery comes from serving money. God is very clear. I, follow me. Pick up your cross and follow me, and I will give you peace, love, friendship, joy. I will give you understanding. Anyone who gives up this world <clears throat> excuse me, and follows me, I will give them ten times as much in this life, it says, and in the life to come everlasting. You just don't know what you're missing on this earth. Sell everything and start following God. Downsize. Say, yeah, that's, I'm tired of, you know, 60 years old and you're working 60 hours a week. That's why we're seeing all these homeless people on the streets today. That's why we're seeing all these people dying of drug overdoses. That's why we're seeing all these people, alcoholism increased like 40% during the pandemic. I'm not kidding. It, I mean, it went up almost 50%. That's why we're seeing people quit the jobs at record rates. They're like, I can't take it anymore. I'm just going to stay home. They keep wondering why there's a great resignation. Well, it's because people are burnt out. Serving money has caused them nothing but misery. But why is it you have $30 in your pocket and you cannot stand to keep that $30 in your pocket as a blessing that God gave you? You just cannot stand to hold on to $30 no matter what. You have to go buy something. Because that's what I said about drugs. Drugs demand all of you. Alcoholism demands all of your whole life. And so does money. We serve a God who lets his children rest. When the work is done, you can go home and rest. You can lay down at peace and lock your door and hug and kiss your children and be satisfied, content, fully, overflowing. That's the God we serve. But money is not nice like that. Money demands... Money demands that you give everything you have to serving that system of money, that false God. No one can serve two gods. You're serving money 90% of your life because money demands everything you got. And money gives no satisfaction. You're going to go purchase more. You're going to consume more consumerism, and that is the demand that money makes upon those who follow it. And we just happen to live in these last days where 90%, 85% of most people are following money. 